Good evening. This evening I'm going to cover how to create the class. It's associated with COS2614 from semester 2 of 2016, question 1. The question reads, write an application that simulates a simple guessing game similar to playing Lotto. The user guesses six num unique numbers between 1 and 39. And the program Lotto Machine also generates six unique random numbers in the same range. The program compares the user's guess to the set of random numbers generated and displays a score. The score says how many of the user's numbers matches that of the program. The random numbers are generated and the score of the game is calculated by the class Guessing Game, as shown below. What I've done is I've taken a, a snapshot of this guessing game class and I've redesigned it here and just so that you know the minus symbols over here mean that they are private and this section over here means it's data members and these parts are the class name over here is member functions and they are public which means they're available to any uh, anywhere within the program and then over here, the last one is a static member function, which means it doesn't uh, have its own initialization, but it's, it is initialized only once within the class. To further understand these things, you must have a look at chapter 2.5 and chapters 2.9. 2.9 will cover the static member functions, and chapter 2.5 will cover... Um, what's uh, reading these UML diagrams. So at the moment what I'm going to do is just basically show you how to create this um, class and add these members according to what is shown in the UML diagram. So I've got my Qt application here. I'm going to click on new project. I'm going to go to other project and I'm going to say I want to make an empty QMake project. I click on choose, it asks me for a name. I'm going to just call it assignment 1q1. Um, that's generally what I would use for this first question. Um, go next. I'm happy to leave it with this MinGW. Um, I'm using the latest QT version 5.6. Click on next, click on finish. As you can see, it's created a QPro file. This is essential to Qt. Um, you can see at the moment it's got nothing in it. But what I'll do from here is I'll right click uh, on assignment 1 here and I'll say add new and I want to add a C++ class and it asks me to click on choose. On the base class you'll see there's quite a few different options here. Um, in general, I choose the Q widget, um, but I think you can also choose the Q object. As you can see, they've got the class name, which they want us to name as Guessing Game. So I'm going to type that name in here. Yes, Game. Okay. As you can see, what it'll do is it'll create the header file and it'll create the CPP file. So the only file that will be missing from this will be main.cpp, but that we can sort out after we've uh, created our class. So click on next, and we go finish. And if you have a look, there's our header, and there's our source. Okay, so for our header, what we would do is we would go in here, and we would have a look, and we'd see, okay, here's um, our public section. Here's signal section and here's a public slot section. Um, we're not going to use signals and slots for this specific um, program. So you can either take it out or you can comment it out like this. Okay, because the only parts we're interested in are the public and the private. And as you can see, there is no private. So you can add your own private over here by just simply typing private, colon, and there we go. So now you've got your private. So in our private, you can see we've got uh, these integer data members. And so 
to specify that, we'll put int and num. Okay. The next one is int from num. The next one is the int to num. There we've declared our private data members. Okay. And on the public one over here, we're going to go over here and we're going to add our guessing game. Guessing game. And opening our brackets and int n. Okay. Uh, this one is also an int. Sn and int. Yeah. So those are our three um, our three variables or three data members that we're initializing. So that's what we call a default constructor. And then the next one we're going to use function get num, and that is a blank one. Um, let's type int. So we would start with a get num. Okay, our function, and then another one, int, get, num. As you can see, um, these two, or oh, actually three, these get functions have got no um, parameters required. So we're just going to call them as they are. Um, get. Okay, so that <clears throat> that is how we would declare um, this this line, and as you can see, QList is not highlighted like this class guessing name, and that is because we need to add an include over here. It says um, include and QList. Um, Once we've added the include, this should actually change color to show, to show us that we've uh, it's picked it up. But as you can see, it hasn't yet, and I think it's because you have to run QMake to um, initialize the change that we've just made. But I'll carry on and uh, add the rest of this um, is uh, a static data member. Uh, int okay int for Uh, what we do over here is we say run QMake and we're happy to save all. And let's see if our QList changes color after we run QMake. Okay, I don't see that it has done anything there. Over here, this is where we would obviously add the rest of our declarations. Um, 
and those declarations as you can see here what it's done is it said include the guessing game h which is that header file over there and basically what we can do from here is we can copy this uh, this guessing part over um, here we've got guessing game int so we would go here copy that um, paste it in there and we would take it from this so that it's reading from our class uh, and this is basically where we define our, our parameters um, so this is all that i'm going to show for now um, you guys can carry on and replicate the rest of the um, cpp file and to add a main file, you just simply go here to File, New File or Project, and we say C++ Source File, and we would call it Main. Um, click on Next, Finish, and there it is, our main file. And then obviously on the main file, there will be, um, we have to add our arguments, um, which would initialize the the Q the the Q input box and the um, and the Q message box which is part of one of the requirements here if you read further down they want us to uh, have a Q input box and a Q message box this is all I'm going to do for now um, if you get stuck or need assistance then just give me a shot and uh, we'll I'll carry on extending this uh, video. I hope this video has been helpful in using the UML for this, um, for this specific question and I hope that you've learnt a little bit from what's been shown in this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.